Hello, friends. We'll be getting started here in just about two minutes. Uh, we're going to use the wall tonight, so have your mats uh, up against the wall. Just take a few moments to stretch out whatever you want to do for the next few moments. So friends, I get started here in just a minute. 60 minutes, maybe 75 minutes yen coming up. Hang with me just a second. <laughs> All right, friends. Good evening. Welcome to Yen. My name is Carlos. I'm gonna take you guys through a nice, relaxing session tonight, so we can, as my post said, calm the f down. All right, there's a lot of craziness going on right now. But we're not going to let that stop us. We're going to continue to work together to help each other and continue to grow this community one day at a time, okay? So tonight, we're going to start, make sure your mat is against the wall. We're going to be against the wall. So start to just work your way back to the wall on your butt with your legs crossed. Any way that feels good there. And sit up nice and tall. And we'll start with a breathing exercise tonight. I uh, will say this is compliments of Paul Benedict, who uh, did his medita meditation this morning, and we did this this morning. And this breath that we're going to do is an alternate nostril breathing. It's meant to bring some calmness and to bring some focus into this practice. So how it's going to look is you're going to have your thumb and your last two fingers, okay? Thumb is going to go on the right nostril. Other two, the last two fingers are for your left nostril. You're going to start with the left nostril closed. You'll inhale through the right nostril. Once you get to the end of the inhale, you close the right nostril, open the left, exhale out of the left. Then you inhale through your left, close it, exhale out of the right, reverse that. Okay, it just goes back and forth. It'll take about five rounds, okay? Before we start that, just sit up nice and tall. First off, just exhale all the air out of your mouth. Take a slow inhale through your nose to fill up. And a full open mouth exhale. Good, so take your last two fingers, close your left nostril. Inhale through the right nostril to fill up. Close it with your thumb. Exhale out of your left nostril. Stay with that. Inhale, fill up through the left nostril. Close it. Exhale out of the right. So we got four more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale.
exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Practice just simply breathe deep. The fuller the breath, the more you're going to get. From here, reach both arms straight up to the ceiling. Take an inhale, stretch up taller. As you exhale, hug your elbows down towards your ribs. Inhale, reach straight back up. Arms stay attached to the wall, slide up the wall. Exhale, pull down. Again, in. Out. One more in. Out. Good. Inhale, arms back up. On your exhale, drop your left arm, lean to your left, reach out of your right arm, look up. Try to keep the spine and the right arm attached to the wall. Bring your right bicep closer to the ear. Bend your right. Couple breaths here. Now let your inhale bring you back up. Both arms go up. Other side, exhale. Drop the right arm. Lean. Reach your left arm over. Drop the left arm. Eyes up. Try to keep that left arm against the wall. Spine against the wall. Breathe there. Good. Let your inhale bring you back up. Both arms come up. And the exhale, just release the arms down. Now you're going to take your left arm out, thumb down, lean forward. Take it behind your back and just, just a half bind. So the, right arm, the left arm goes around for the right hip. And then sit back against the wall. Push the shoulder back. So notice how much this is in your left shoulder. If it's not too much in your left shoulder, then you're going to try and walk your left hand up your spine. So lean off for a second. Bring the hand more to the middle. Walk the hand higher up the spine, middle finger on the spine, and then sit back and try to have your palm against the wall, elbow against the wall as the shoulder rolls back. Okay, and then from there, send the right arm back up, breathe in. And as you exhale, lean back to your left again. Breathe into the left shoulder. Let the right arm hang, let the head hang. Try to keep that Left arm glued against the wall, head against the wall, right arm against the wall. Just focus on creating some stretch in the front of your left shoulder first and foremost. Good. Slowly come back up, lean forward to release the left arm, shake it out a little bit, good, and then right arm goes out, lean forward, send the right arm back, just the half mind first and just see how it feels, as you lean back, roll the shoulder back as then, shoulders against the wall, try to push the arm into the wall, shoulder back, once you're good there, send your left arm up, breathe in, and then the exhale, lean to the right. Drop the left arm over the head. Try to stay connected to the wall and just breathe. Big inhales into your left rib cage. Big inhales into your right shoulder. With every exhale, let both of those become a little more relaxed. And now as you inhale, come back up, release the left arm, lean forward, release the right arm, shake it out. 
Kick both legs out. Remember what leg was in front. Shake out your legs for a second. And then we're going to switch the crossing. So whatever leg was in front is now behind. Sit up tall. Still tailbone against the wall. This time just fold forward. Drop your head. Good. Just try to get the elbows to the ground if you can. If you need to use a block, feel free to use a block under the arms or under your head. Now getting back, so the hands want to be as high as they can go before you worry about straight arms. So keep all those hands up, shoulders roll back, head down. And if you can pull the hands away from the wall, go ahead. If you can't, though, use that wall with support. Shoulders roll back. Hands are crawling up if they need to be. Breathe there. It's okay if you can't get the arms straight. Just keep rolling, shoulders back, expanding your chest as you drop your head down. But the higher the hands go up, the more you can give yourself support. Gently release the hands. Bring them back forward, turn the palms up, soften the shoulders and just hang. Just relax into the fold a couple more breaths. Maybe make some fists, flush out the wrists. Slowly using your hands, push yourself up. We're gonna come away from the wall, so using your hands, roll forward over your knees. Find the tabletop position for a second. Once you get to tabletop, uh, big toes together, knees wide, and just sit on your heels. Just have a seat on the heels. So knees are wide, big toes are together. Hands behind you. As you inhale, press into your fingers and lift the hips up high. Lift your chest up, push through the hips. Tuck the tail, shoulders roll back. Stay there, breathe in. It's okay if your head touches the wall. Exhale, sit back down. Take three like that. Inhale, just drive the hips forward and up. Exhale, lower. Again, in. Out. One more. In. And out. Good, walk back forward into tabletop. Knees under the hips. Ankles long, tops of the feet to the mat. Stand up on your shins. So slowly rise up. So make sure you got shoulders over hips, hips over knees. Ankles are long, feet are pushing down. Try to get your shins to push into the mat. From there, just take your arms up. Relax your shoulders. Drop your chin to your chest. Lift your belly up as you inhale. Tuck your tail as you exhale. Inhale, push hips forward. Lift the belly more, lift the chest more. As you exhale, pull your arms back as far as you can. Hips go more forward till it goes down. Breathe there. Lift your chin up. Look for the wall behind you. Keep reaching for it as the hips are pushing more forward. Tail is going down. Breathe into this back bend. Focus on as much lift as you can through your hip flexor area. Inhale to come out of it. Belly to your spine, tuck your tail around like an angry cat. Inhale, just come back to neutral, just relax. Again, exhale, cat, push away, squeeze. One more, inhale, neutral. Exhale, cat. Good, come back to neutral. Walk your knees back. We're gonna get both shins on the wall. So take your right knee to the bottom, right shin on the wall. 
And also take your left knee to the bottom and then lower down to your belly. So once you're down there, take your knees wider. So knees a little wider than the mat. And keep giving those hips back so you got your knees and your shins on the wall. Big toes are together behind you. And then lift your belly up, make some space. Come on to elbows and find a space. So from here, if it's intense, the elbows can be more forward, less intense. As you slide them further back under the shoulders, a little more intense, a little more sensation, okay? Turn the palms up, relax the wrists. A little bit of neck here. As you inhale, lift your chin up, look up. As you exhale, chin to chest. Keep the shoulders back, belly, or chest lifting. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck. One more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Good. Come back to neutral with your head. Rest your palms down. Close your eyes. Just a couple more breaths in this part. Good, slowly stack your hands, elbows wide, drop your head to your hands. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, now we're gonna get a little deeper into the inner thighs and the hips here. So come back to elbows for a second. So you're gonna try and scoot your knees wider. So see what you can do. Just take the knees a little wider and then push the hips back towards the wall. And then just drop down. Take a moment there, feel that out. Get in the inner thighs to open up there. The knees are wide, big toes are still together. And then we're going to come back into the shoulders here in a moment. So just breathe. Relax your back. Okay, back to the elbows just for a moment. Slide your right arm under your left arm. Walk it all the way across. Drop down to your right shoulder. Now, just like we did earlier with the left arm, you're going to either half bind the left arm behind the back, or you're going to walk the left hand up the spine again and try to get that left middle finger up to your neck. From there, you have your chin over your right shoulder. And if you have the left hand high up your spine, then take your right hand, just bend the elbow and bring your right hand to your left hand at the top of your back, if you can. If not, keep the right arm relaxed. If you need support for your head, you can use a block or a pillow under your head there, and then just breathe. So we're getting right shoulder stretch and left shoulder stretch and a little bit of inner thigh work here. Big inhales, big exhales. Okay, very slowly, release the bind, release the left arm, use the left hand, push up, slide the right arm out, extend both arms forward, just drop your forehead to the ground. If this is getting to be too much on your legs, slide a bit away from the wall so it's not so intense. You can bring the knees away from the wall if you need to as we go into the other side. So lift your chest back up, left arm goes under the right now, walk your left arm across, palm up, 
Drop to the outside of the left shoulder, let your head fall. And then the right arm goes back into a half bind. That might be enough. Breathe there. If you want to go a little deeper, try to get that right hand up the middle of the spine, right middle finger up towards your neck, roll the shoulder back. And if you got that right hand nice and high, see if you can get your left hand to connect to the right hand behind your back, behind your neck. If not, then just keep the left hand down. Breathe there, let the shoulders open. Slowly begin to release the bind. Bring the right hand forward, push up so you can slide the left arm out. And again, just reach both arms forward, drop your forehead down and relax for a second. Okay, come back up with your head, bring your hands in. Now think like you're going to army crawl away from the wall. So begin to crawl away from the wall, all the way to the front of your mat, until you can get your legs all the way to the ground behind you. Now you're going to take your right arm into a goalpost position, so elbow across from the shoulder. Press with your left hand, open the chest up, bend your knees both off to the left side, and then press away with your left hand as you open up through your right side of your chest. Make sure that right elbow is nice and wide and you're pressing away so you feel the pulling between the corner of your chest and your front of your right shoulder. Breathe there. This is an active one, so you're pressing into it. Think the inside of your right upper arm towards the ground as you're pressing away, lifting the left side of your chest open. One more breath in there. Exhale, lower back down. Straighten your legs. Bring your right arm straight in front of you. Roll onto your right side. And then bring your right elbow over to your left. So right elbow directly across from the right shoulder. You can bend both knees for stability. So right elbow, right shoulder in line. The right arm is up. Using your left hand, push the right hand down to the ground here. If it doesn't get to the ground, that's okay. You're working it towards the ground. You want to stay low, keep the entire right arm on the ground, uh, upper right arm, and keep pressing into the top of the right wrist to get that right hand close. You should feel that pulling on the outside of your shoulder. So if you're very flexible right now and your right hand and entire right forearm is on the ground, there's a deeper variation, only if you need it. So watch me. If you got that right arm flat, you're gonna lift the upper arm up, slide the right hand under your right rib cage, keep the right arm flat, and then lower back down, and then lean into your right shoulder. But you gotta make sure that that right forearm is flat to the ground, and you're trying to get the right here is perfectly fine. Just breathe there, let the head relax if you, if you can. A couple more breaths here. Gently release. Come back to this beginning 90 degree angle here and just take the arm back and forth. 
like the windshield wiper, just take the arm back and forth, just loosen the rotator cuff. Good. And then send the right arm forward. You can come back to your belly. Go post the arms and work into the other side. So left arm goes into goal post. Elbows down, palms flat. Using your right hand, roll over to your left side. Bend both knees off to the right. Left elbow, need to go further out to your left. And then push away while pressing the inside of your upper left arm down as you open the right side of your chest. The stretch should be on the left side of your chest in the corner right where the chest and shoulder meet. Breathe then. Slowly lower back down, reach your left arm straight ahead, roll onto your left side, bend both knees over to the right, bring your left arm over to the right side, so left elbow and shoulder in line, the arm is up, you got a 90 degree angle right there, and then the right hand goes on top of the left wrist, and you push the left hand down. You want to keep that 90 degree angle to start, and you're trying to get your entire left forearm to the ground, it might not go there, that's okay. You should feel this pulling on the outside of your left shoulder. Breathe there. Now, if you have the left arm all the way down or really close to the ground, you want to go a little deeper. You're going to lift the left shoulder up. Left hand is flat. Slide the left hand under your left rib cage. And then lower back down. And then lean into the left shoulder. But you gotta have the entire lower portion of your left arm flat, and you're working to get the upper portion flat while leaning into it. You feel a deep pull in the upper, le upper left shoulder. It might be too much though, so feel free to go back to layer one if that's enough. Okay, wherever you are, gently release. Bring your left arm back to where it started and just take out like a windshield wiper back and forth. Just loosen it back and forth. Relax the rotator cuff. Good. And then send your left arm forward, come back to your belly. Once you get to your belly, rise up to tabletop. Just find a seat on your shins for a second. You can have toes tucked or untucked. It's up to you, whatever you need for or just from here for a moment. Interlace all 10 fingers to the back of the head. Open the elbows wide. Inhale, lift your chest. As you exhale, close. Elbows together, chin to your chest. Round, upper back. Inhale, lift your chin up. Open the elbows wide. Expand. Exhale, round. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Release the arms. Find the tabletop position. You're going to walk your right knee to the wall. So walk back. Bring the right shin up the wall, right knee against the wall. Okay. Once you have that, you might want to have a block on your right side here. You're going to swing your left foot forward. Walk it around. So you're in a lunge position here with your right shin on the wall. And once you have that, just let the hips sink forward. Rise onto your fingers, lift your chest up. Stay there, breathe in. On the exhale, just press your butt back, drop your head down. So it's a small range of those are just loosening here. So inhale, hips sink forward, lift your chest up. Exhale, push back. Again, in. Out. Two more, in. 
Out. Last one. In. And out. Good. Inhale, come forward. So right hand is flat. Using your left hand, push your left knee away and start to twist. Hips are sinking forward. Open that left knee wide and look over your left shoulder to rotate. Try to press more into the inner thigh. Roll the skin outwards, making more space between your belly and your inner thigh and your left side. Slowly come back. Walk your left foot into the middle of the mat. Bring your left hand to the side. Slide left foot more forward. Flex the toes back, find a half split. So from there, left leg is centered. Fold forward of your left leg and hug back on left hip. Couple of deep breaths there. Focus on just the left hamstring for a moment. Okay, slowly lift your head up. Slide the foot back so you can bend the knee. Bring the left leg back to the ground. Right knee comes to the ground. And then we're going to switch, so left leg to the wall. If that's a lot on your foot, use a towel or a cushion against your foot against the wall to give you some cushion there for the foot. You want to have that entire shin against the wall. And then the block if you need is going to be on the left side. Swing the right foot around. Start to curl it forward. So we want to make sure that that right foot is outside of the mat, or on the outside of the mat, right hands inside, and the ankle and knee are stacked as your hips lean forward. And then come on to fingertips, inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, just press your butt back, drop your head. And then inhale, hips sink forward, lift your heart. And again, exhale, just press it back. Two more, in. Actually, three more, out. Now two more, in. Out. One more in. And out. Good. Come back forward. Left hand flat. Use the right hand now and push the right knee away. You can roll to the outside of your foot. Open up the inner thigh there and twist. Look over your right shoulder. Try to push so much you get the right arm straight. So you're drawing your right side of your chest away from the right knee as you rotate. One more breath in, full breath out, and then release the hand down. Walk the right foot in the middle, start to crawl the right foot forward, flex the toes up and find a half split. Make whatever adjustments you need, the right foot in the middle, hug the right hip back, drop your head down. And breathe into the right hamstring. Slowly lift up, slide the right foot back, bring the right knee down to the ground, and, uh, bring the left leg down, cross your ankles and sit your butt back. So back to the wall again. Bring the right leg out. We're going to come into square here for the hip. So left shin is parallel to the front of the mat. Grab the right ankle, place the right ankle on top. Try to get the shin stacked. So you want to sit up as tall as you can here. If you're on the tighter side like me, this knee is really high on the right side, bring the right foot in more, left foot in more, see if that's enough for it to drop. Make sure you feel level. And then we're going to start this by folding over the right side. So turn your chest to the right, inhale, lengthen up. And as you exhale, fold over your right knee. And just relax there. Breathe into that outer left hip of the, for the rotation, and breathe into that right hip for the stretch there. 
Make sure you're soft through your shoulders, relax the neck. Let the arms be heavy. Okay, slowly come up. Walk your hands all the way over to your left and just lean to the left. So you're not over your left knee, you're all the way to the left. Keep that right knee dropping. See how deep you can get here. If you can get to the elbows, go ahead. If not, it's okay. Just lean into it. Slowly come back up, find your middle, sit up tall, just reach both arms up, soft, and let the spine neutralize for a second. And then release. So you're gonna bring that right shin in front. No, I'm sorry, kick the right leg out. We'll do the other side first. So get both legs out, shake out the legs. And then you're bring the right leg in this time. So the other side of your square, left foot comes on top. So you're trying to have right shin parallel, left shin parallel, and they're gonna be stacked tight, but if it's not happening, left foot in more, right foot in more, maybe that's enough. If you worst case scenario, left foot in front of the right shin. Sit up tall there. Open up to that left inner thigh there. And this time you're gonna twist to your left, inhale. And then exhale, forward over your left knee, forehead over the knee, and drop into it. Deep breaths, then. Just be heavy. So push yourself up. Turn all the way over to the right. So you're on the right side. Keep the legs and lean over to the right. See if you can get the left elbow to the ground. Right would be easy, but can you get the left elbow to the ground? 
it's not as okay, but that's what you're leaning towards. So you want to keep twisting, get that left elbow closer, drop into it. Slowly rise up, sit up tall, reach both arms up, deep breath in, full breath out, good, let it go. Just cross the left shin in front, use your hands, roll forward into tabletop. When you get there, if you want to shake out the legs, shake out for a second, whatever you need to do, just loosen up both legs. And we're coming back to this wall again with our shin. So walk your knees back, right shin to the wall once more. So this one, you definitely might need the block. So you bring it on the right side if you have it. Swing your left foot forward again. Get the ankle below the knee. And this time we want to get our butt to the wall. So push your butt back towards the wall. Left hand to left knee. Right hand comes to a block as you rise up. Trying to get all the way up tall with your hips back to the wall. Left ankle below the left knee. And then you're focusing on a tall spine. The stretch here wants to be at the base of the right knee, up the quad, through the hip flexor, through the psoas, through your torso. Little tuck of the tail, shoulders back. If it's too much, the further the knee is away from the wall, the less intense it is but you're working towards eventually having your entire shin against the wall. And if you're all the way up and you want a little more maybe, you can take your arms up, breathe there. Bring all your focus, your mind's eye into the right quadricep, right hip flexor and psoas area. Just breathe there. How much length and space can you create? When you do that with deep breaths, not by forcing it. So just let the breath. Two more reps. One more. Listen close. Bring your hands to the ground. Just the hands to the ground. Let your right shin drop all the way to the left so that the outside of right shin is against the wall. Keep that left ankle and knee stacked. Rise up so right hip is against the wall. Turn your chest to the right so that your entire right side is against both your right arm up to the ceiling. So from here, we're gonna work on a right side body stretch. Take your left arm inside your left leg, make it straight. You're gonna use that to push away a little bit so you can keep rotating your chest open. Look up at your right hand, inhale, stretch up. Keep right hip against the wall. Exhale, begin to lean to the left. Let your right arm drop over your head. Keep the chest open so you're using the left arm to push a little bit. Right hip kissing the wall as you reach out long through your right fingertips. Breathe there, deep into your right side. Use your inhale to come back up. As you exhale, just release your hands down to the ground. Bring the left knee to the ground. Turn back to the front. Take a moment, sit up tall. Hands to lap, three. On both portions of it, the first part and the second part. So you 
want to take it where you can so you get enough sensation without it being too much, okay? Moving into the other side. Find tabletop, left shin against the wall. Swing the right leg out and around. Push your butt back to the wall first. Then the right hand on the right shin, or right knee. Use the block knee, left hand, and rise on up. Try to get the hips against the, toward all the way to the wall, glutes to the wall, and try to get tall as best you can. If you got hips against the wall, can you get shoulders against the wall, shoulder legs? And if you got that and you're nice and tall and you want to take the arms up, go ahead. But if this side's tighter somewhere, you might not need it. Listen to your body. Slow, deep breaths. Three more rounds. One more. Come down to your hands. Keep the legs. Drop your left shin over to the right. So it's all the way down outside of your shin to the wall. Rise up. Keep the right leg how it is. Turn your chest left. Reach your left arm high. Connect your left side against the wall. Right arm goes inside the right leg, right arm is straight, push away a little bit. Keep your left hip on the wall, inhale, stretch up. As you exhale, lean into it. Press left hip to wall as you reach left arm away from the wall and lean to your right. Deep breaths here. Make space between the inner costal muscles of your ribcage. Create length through your obliques, create length through your lats. Three more breaths. Inhale, brings you up. Release the hands down as you exhale. Come back to your right knee. Turn to the front. Have a seat on your shins once more. Sit up tall, hands to lap. Take a moment. Close your eyes, breathe. Find stillness. Okay, blink your eyes open. Now we're gonna make our way onto our backs with our legs up the wall. So sit off to either side, sit your butt to the ground, kiss the hip against the wall, let them be heavy there. Relax through your shoulders, relax through your lower back, close your eyes, and take 60 seconds. Make sure the back of your neck is long.
and moving back into the inner thighs. Open your legs about two or three feet apart. Bring your right heel into towards your groin, outside of the foot's against the wall. And then slowly begin to open your left leg out to the left. So you want to use your right hand to push the right knee towards the wall. As that left leg opens up, spine stays flat. So left leg goes as far as it can, but if you, if you can't make it to the ground and you want a little stiff, if um, it's too much, you need some support. Take a block, place it to the outside of your thigh so that your leg falls into the block for stability. Get that right heel nice and tight to the groin. Press the right knee towards the wall and let that left leg open up. Breathe into the left inner thigh and groin. Okay, listen very closely here. Bring your left leg up only halfway, so halfway back up, and bend your left knee. Slide your right knee into the center so the right foot is off to your left side, and then cross your left leg on top of the right leg. Lower, that's fine, but as the feet go up higher and the knees, uh, thighs squeeze tighter, you should feel more stretch in that left hip. And if you need more, then you can grab the outside of both ankles with your hands and pull the knees into the chest, away from the wall. Only if you need it. Otherwise, the wall is giving you some support there as you breathe into that left hip, left IT band as well. Notice if your left hip has lifted off the ground, can that hip stay down so your hip stays square, stay level? You try to go too far, too fast, you lose out on the proper sensation, the proper stretch for where you're at in your body. And when you go too far like that, too fast, then it takes longer to get where you really want to get to. So be in no rush. Listen to where your body is right now. If you're hugging the legs in and release the legs back to the wall, slowly begin to lift the left leg up, unwind, kick it up, send the right leg up, and then if legs are apart, just shake them out a little bit, shake it out, let it go. Okay, now we go into the other side, first part. So bend the left leg, left heel towards your groin, get it nice and tight in there. Left hand pushes left knee towards the wall, and then let the right leg begin to fall open. Keep the hips square. If you need support, there you use that block underneath the right outer thigh so the leg falls into the block. 
and you got some little support so you can relax. Breathe into the right inner thigh. Let the spine relax. Sixty minutes is never enough, you know that. So, seventy-five max. We got seventeen more minutes max. I promise, no more than that. But I'm trying to get you nice and relaxed, ready for a good night's sleep. Okay. Okay, so again, take your time here. You're going to bring the right leg up about halfway, bend the right knee. Slide your left knee into the middle so your left foot's off to the right side. And then bring that right leg on top of your left. Wrap your thighs together and try to stack the knees as best you can. Once you got that, you try to lift the feet up the wall, lifting shins up as you stay stacked. Take it where you can, but if that right butt cheek is lifted up, bring the feet back down. Keep that right hip down and just find the wrap. Focus on the inner thighs together, knees stacked. And if you need more, your hands grab onto the shins and you pull knees to chest. It's right hand, turn your hands stay on the same side. So right hands on the right side, left hands on your left side, you're just grabbing the outer shins and you're pulling. You might not need that. Feel free to use the wall there for support. Most important thing you're trying to do is get the legs to stack, knees to stack as best as possible. You should feel right glute and right IT band stretching. Very slowly, begin to kick the right leg up, send the left leg out and up. Once the legs are up, begin to shake them out for a second, let it go. And then from there, you're going to bend your knees just a little bit, and well, enough so you can get your feet flat to the wall. So once you get your feet flat to the wall, Keep your neck long, think shoulder stand. So let your hands rest to the ground, push into the feet, lift your spine off the ground. Get the hips as high as you can. Your knees want to be above hips, hips above shoulders. Stay there, inhale. On your exhale, slowly roll back down to the tailbone touches the ground. Take three like that on your breath. Inhale, drive the hips up. Keep the neck long, eyes to ceiling, no turning your head. Exhale, lower down. 
Two more. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. And exhale down. Good. Kick your legs back up the wall. You can stay or come into plow. So push into hands. Lift the hips. Let the feet fall to the ground behind your head. Snail pose in yin practice. Plow in the vinyasa. Same thing. But trying to relax this. Let the feet be heavy. The neck is still long. If it's too much, come back to a flat back. Only here for three more breaths. Use your hands as brakes to slowly bring the spine back to the ground one vertebra at a time. Once your spine is flat, bend your uh, feet to the wall. Bend your knees and begin to slide the feet down. Butterfly your legs, soles of the feet together. Bring the heels towards the groin. Spine is flat. You can use your hands if you need to to press the inner knees away so you're getting the outer knees towards the wall. Breathe there. Slowly start to slide the feet back up the wall, the legs come back together. Make sure you're again nice and tight to that wall. Keep your right leg where it is. Slowly begin to open your left leg to all the way to the left. See if it can make it to the mat, if it doesn't hurt to the ground. If it doesn't make it to the ground, place a block or a pillow or whatnot under the outside of your left shin or left quad and then bring the right leg to the left leg. Arms out, chin falls to the right, relax into your twist. Make any adjustments you need to in your spine so the spine is long. Maybe left shoulder wants to go more left to relax the right shoulder more down. Deep breaths there. Bring your chin back up first, look up. Just the right leg goes up first. Then bring the left leg to meet the right. Take a second, neutralize, reset. And then slowly begin to open the right leg over to the right. 
If it's not going to go all the way down, again, you put that block or prop underneath the outer shin or the outer quadricep, outer thigh. And then arms are out, chin falls left, and begin to draw the left leg to the right leg. Once you got the legs stacked, if you need to adjust the spine, make your adjustment so it's long and straight. The right shoulder might want to go more right. Relax your left arm, chin falls left, and just breathe. Full inhales, full exhale. Chin comes up first, slowly draw the left leg up, then bring the right leg up to meet it. Make any adjustments, neutralize for a second. And bend your knees into your chest, squeeze them in. Forehead to knees, round the spine, squeeze tight. Good, head down, kick your legs back up the wall. Choice is up to you. You can stay right here, let this be your Shavasana, or back away from the wall, come into a traditional Shavasana. Up to you, whatever feels better. Whichever one you decide to go, eyes closed, arms relaxed. We'll take a few cleansing breaths first to release. So exhale all the air from your mouth. Inhale as deep as you can through your nose. Big open mouth, exhale. Two more. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Last one, big inhale. Full exhale. And now breathe normal and relax. How soft can your physical body become from head to toe? How smooth can your breath flow from top to bottom, bottom to top? How calm will you allow yourself to be as we journey through this storm together?
no need to reawaken until you feel the time is right. Thank and I applaud you for making this time for yourself. For putting aside any excuses. For knowing that you are most important. The better you take care of you, the better you can take care of others. Thank yourself for what you do, for you and for whoever else you have in your life. Because I thank you as well. Until we meet again, I bow forth respect, honor, and admiration for each and all of you. My soul acknowledges your soul. Namaste. Thank you so much, friends. Have a beautiful night. We'll be back tomorrow evening for something more, okay? Talk to us soon. Send me some feedback. Thank you. Bye.